Hello and welcome to technically the first day of the new semester. I am Rabbi David Katz, your host as always. And as traditional, on the first day of the new Zman, Zman is semester, people are running around doing Rosh Chodesh things, the new month. There's lots of things going on. Time changes confuse people. So in this time spot, we're usually doing the Rizal Shargogulim, the Book of Reincarnations. But to kick off the new term, we're going to be a little bit easy, a little bit lax. And as everyone that has been, has been coming to these classes knows, I keep it uh, the end of each class on Monday – I give a little bit of the mazel wisdom, and today we'll do an extra dose of mazel Torah wisdom. Give me a one if you think that's a good idea. Uh, give me a two if you still think it's a good idea. <laughs> Everyone got, got a one on this? Ready to go? One, 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 one. one. Hello, 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 hello. Justin B, there you are. Okay. Malachim lavim es ha'adam. Angels escort mean type one for the sake of typing one. Rosa, everyone, Denise, let's go. Type one. So I know they're here. Rosa Hollander, type one. Denise, no relation to Justin, type one. There you go. All right. Shnei Malachi Asharis Melavi Mesa Adam. Two angels escort, two administering angels escort man. How many of you have ever heard of King David's songs? This is taken from 9111 of King David's songs. You can go ahead and look it up, Justin B., if you want to post that in the, in the chat box for us. 9111. For his angels are commanded to you to guard you in all of your way. In the Gemara Tainus, the tractate of the Talmud Tainus, which means fasting, tractate about fasting. There's a teaching, Shinenu, Shnei Malachi Ashar Shmalahin Lo Hala Adam. Two angels escort you. It's also brought in Chagiga 16a. Lehem Shech of Gemara Sham, Shnei Malachi Ashar Shmalahin Lo. Two administering angels escort the man and they testify for him. As it says, angels are commanded to you. The Chad Mismolo. One is to your right, one is to your left. Uperish Rashi Sham, Shne Malachi Asharis Malavin Lula Adam, the Chad Miamino, the Chad Mismolo, the Siki Malachi is of the Chad. Rashi, in those places of Talmudic discourse, explains exactly as this. Two angels escort a man. Shnei Malachi Asharis, the Lochim Imo, and Beis Achneset, and Beis Amidrish Ad Bezoi. Two administering angels are going with you from the prayer house and from the house of study until your house. The King Hoyvibetan de Bayaliao Zuta, Perek Perek fifteen, 
כי בזמן שהרבים הם שרויים בצער ויחי, פה יש בהם שני מלאכי השרי זרוכים עמו מבייס הכנסת ומבייס המדרש עד באיזו אימרים עליו עושו האיש הבירש מן הציבור עד יזך לראות בנחמה ציבור. How many of you have ever heard of the, the, the Talmudic saying of something along the lines of do not separate from the community? Do not separate from the community. Just a beat. One or two. All right, good. So now, Justin B, can you see why they said don't separate from the community? Now, isn't there something interesting here? This is what I like to call a classic Torah of Shem. Justin B, can you see why I am calling this a classic example of the Torah of Shem? This is classic. Because how many times you go on Facebook or wherever you go, and they'll say, oh, Justin B, this is a case where you don't separate from the congregation. Right? Everybody says, Justin B, go to your Chabad house because there's no gear today, and go ask a Chabad rabbi. And be a good Noahide. And Justin B. says, well, I might actually do that, but my Chabad rabbi doesn't get gear. He doesn't get me. Oh, Justin B., Justin B., don't separate from the congregation. That's what it says in Pirkei Avos. Don't separate from the congregation. Now, Justin B., you're, you've heard me say a million times about Lafib Shuto, Correct. So there's a, a saying in the Ramdu, Lafib Shuto Kamashmo. Now we know that Lafib Shuto means rabbinic reality or rabbinic analogy, correct? Type one. But there's something where we say the analogy is like it is literally. Right? The, the analogy is literal. So we say, hey, Justin B, do not separate from the congregation, right? And they'll say, oh, Rabbi Katz, Rabbi Katz, that's such a wonderful idea. He should go to blah, 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 blah. Then someone says, ah, but it's only Lafib Shuto, and it's just blah, 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 because it's Lafib Shuto, a rabbinic analogy. But, if, but sometimes the rabbinic analogy is literal. Kapshuto kamashmo. Mashmo means as it sounds. So what are we learning here? Two angels escort you when you go around town doing holy things, i.e. praying and learning and davening these things. From the time you go to those venues and you return home, You are escorted by two angels. So now, when we have a dictum, Justin B., it is not wise to separate from the community. Now we see it in a different light, do we not? If you were to take the Torah on its Torah of Shem, level of wisdom, that of course it's a bad idea to separate from the congregation. Because you will lose your angelic assistance. The question becomes, is Pirkei Avos, the ethics of our fathers, is it that smart? I think it is. I think it is. So you hear, you hear all the different scenarios that we have. Rabbis make statements that people claim is a big wisdom, and it isn't. Then they say, hey, it's not supposed to be a big wisdom, but it is. Then you say, it is a big wisdom, a big wisdom, and the fact is, it's part of a bigger wisdom 
that 99% of those quoting the Torah source are unaware of the big picture wisdom. Can I get a one or two here? You guys with me? How many of you have ever heard the, uh, the phrase, it was an inside joke? Right? It was an inside joke. So if I, if I was in on the joke, the stomach, I would laugh. Is that right, Justin B? I would, I would, I guess I would laugh at whatever you found funny. But people never assume that Torah is the same way. Why is that? Why do people assume that they know the Torah without knowing the Torah? Well, Havdil, it's like an inside joke. So when the rabbis say, don't separate from the congregation, and they plug it in to the Pirkei Abbas system, which is the Shuto world, people automatically assume there is no wisdom behind such a statement. That's why the Torah of Shem is so vital. It brings the words of the sages to life. Give me a one of that, just for the sake of giving a one. And so therefore, that's where the mazel happens. If you want to have a strong presence or revelation of mazel, then you should travel to do holy things and then go back home. In South Africa, I don't know where you guys live, Denise, but if you live by Jacques or whatever you do, going to Torah study and then going to pray and going home, you will have an angelic experience if you pay attention to it. It's not contingent on whether you pay attention to it, though, or not. You will have an angelic experience. It's up to you to learn how to perceive such mazel. Rosa Hollander, that goes for you as well. How does a person bring more mazel into their life? Start doing mazel stuff. Justin B. Type 1. Start doing mazel stuff. Praying, learning, congregating with people who are praying and learning, and make sure you go back home. Because they're not escorting you to a bar. They're escorting you back home. I, I would imagine that it would probably be not very good results if you abuse that policy. And I would imagine it would be very good results if you took the opportunity. B.R. Balma Uriyesh. Perik Alim Sharm Kasev Shnei Malachia Sharis. The angels support your head. One of them makes you endure and with vitality always. And the second Tachius the Hatari from his diamond low, Zelashkacha Praktis. So Achayus the Hatari from his diamond low. Zehu Ashkacha Praktis, the devil of a force of the Rayim. What's he saying there? Hold on. Shechad who look kind of less low key and look he is Tamide. In the, in the, the second one, Vashini Hachayus Vahatarif. Yeah, I think it's that um, the second win is keeping predators away from you. So one is that you endure, and the second win is predators are staying away. Now, who heard the mazel hint about five, two or three minutes ago? Who heard it? I said... If you do holy things and you go back home, 
you will have a mazel experience. Is that correct? And then I said you need to learn how to recognize the mazel experience. If you're looking for harps and halos, good luck to you. But if you're looking for your vital signs and What was the word I used for that? Predators. Predators to stay away. Then you can assume you have angelic assistance. Now, who knows why this is a miracle? Does anyone know why this is a miracle? The answer is a miracle is because the way of the world is to be ambushed by predators and to lose vitality. The very fact that you don't lose vitality and you are not ambushed by predators is because you have angelic assistance. Now here's another case. You're going to say to me, Justin B., well, Rabbi Katz, that doesn't sound too impressive. I go to work there and back every day. I go to the grocery store once a day, and I've never been ambushed by predators. Is that true? Am I everybody in here? You're going to tell me that you have a successful life You've never been ambushed. So here's the answer. When you are in an impure world, i.e. not learning and not davening. Oh, that's a good one, Justin B. Uh, that's actually very good. <laughs> that's pretty good, man. You got me on that one. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. You are saved from your Yates or Hara. How do you like that? Just now is really good, man. Really, really, really good. Really, really good. Right? You're doing holy things. Man, that is, that is profoundly good, man. You are coming really good. Right? You want to do holy things, but you want to do Shtusim. So why, why are you not doing Shtusim when you want to do holy things? Because God gives you your vitality and takes away the predators. Justin B. Yesher Clare. That was, that was phenomenal. Um, on a more simple level, not matching Justin B., in the, in the Trafe world, um, you, you are not worthy of ambush or losing vitality. And here's an example. You ready? I don't know if this is a perfect example. I guess it's a perfect example. Is it? In America, there's something called Taco Bell at 3 in the morning. Justin B., give me one of that. Taco Bell at 3 in the morning. I'm guessing nobody ever got turned away from Taco Bell at 3 in the morning. For whatever reason, I mean, if you're awake and conscious with currency to your name, you probably can get a burrito at three in the morning from Taco Bell, right? Because when you are going from burger shop to burger shop at three in the morning and home is not an option, the predators are not looking to prey on you. They are looking to join you at Taco Bell. Right? There's no danger in that world. You are, you're part of that fabric. And you will have the good fortune to stay erect 
on such a path. But when you want to do something holy, who says the predators want you to go pray and learn? Granted, they want you to get into Klippa, okay? They want you at Taco Bell at 3 in the morning. It's called Good for the Economy, right? Klippa is good for this world. That's what Klippa will tell you. Go do all the wrong things, and you'll probably get ambushed very little. Is that correct, Justin B? My mother lived in Las Vegas for 15 years. You know that? And when I was in college, I went to visit her, and we went to a casino off the strip, right? And I saw a man abusing and harassing the dealer on a blackjack table. Not, nothing too, too uh, illicit. But I certainly wouldn't want to be treated that way. And, of course, they, nobody gave that guy a hard time. As long as he kept putting his dollar, ta- dollar down on the dollar table, Right? No one was giving that guy a hard time, as rude and obnoxious as he was. Because he's, he's in, he's in the, the trough. He's in the canal of that world, correct? He's not viewed as someone to ambush. He's viewed as an opportunity in that world. The Havdo is almost like he has a bracha to be there, but it's not a bracha. It's a curse. But when you have learning and davening, you're not benefiting any klippa as far as klippa is concerned. They don't have to let you do that. Again, no one's stopping me from going to Taco Bell at 3 in the morning, right? Nobody. Nobody's going to stand up and say, that's wrong. You shouldn't do that. But when you want to go learn in Davin, the fact that nobody is stopping you is because God rescued you. You got that? By definition, that is an angelic mazel experience. As Justin B. might say, the Taco Bell at 3 in the morning is the Yates or Hara experience. So if you're going to be in an experience, this is where me and Justin come together, where there is no Yitzhah Hara, see that? <laughs> right? Because you're not going to Taco Bell, therefore you're not with your Yitzhah. Then, by the fact that you are allowed to live is a testimony to your mazel and angelic escort. So the more that you're aware of that and conscious of it, and you know there's no yeats are involved by definition, and you're not feeding the clippers, that's called a holy exercise. And you start to pay attention to what vitality is and non-ambush is. Then you can start to recognize God in your path. What do you think about that, guys? What do you think about that? Shmir Hashem, Ayodei Malachim. The guardianship of God through angels. The Rashba, who was a commentator. The Chidusha got into Zotaris Chaisif. Ki ha edis ha zoi peirusha giloi hadvar 
the explanation of this in the revealed way. The Ayyadeh Malachim, Kavana So, Shishmir Hashem, Ayyadeh Malachim, Sarah Mimenu, the whole Nifka the Gufo, Ayyadeh Nishmasui, Shehu Saivil, Betaychav Anenish, Almaisu Sha'asu Behester Vezele Shino, Malachim, and Meshmari Maisu Yestalgo Mimenu, Kleimer hashkachat yistalek v'lo tishpreno mina niziki. What are you saying here? Ki ha'ida zoi perusha giloi hadvarim ve'ayidei ha'malachim k'mon so shashmir so shem ha'yidei malachav sar mina v'hu nifka b'gufo Okay, again. Why is he saying it like this? He had Adis as O Perusha. I think the word Perusha might mean separation, not explanation here. He had Adis as O Perusha, Gidwe Hadvarin. And then he's saying, even if he, if he, it really seems like he's saying this, at least the word Perusha, that why? Or how, either one, do you lose divine protection? It's one thing that you have the angel mazel protection, right, Justin B? But why? I'm not sure if I finished reading the first part. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now, why does it say that? One second here. Hold on a second. Yeah, to get the angel. Oh, wow. Whoa. Now, very interesting. Hold on. We skipped the part up there. We skipped the part. Justin B., we say that you're going to be looking for the angels, correct? Looking for the mazel experience. What are you looking for? We said not an ambush and vitality, correct? That's called. Angels escorting you in the guise, or as uh, uh, that's that's what we call it, but it's not really what it is. It's God changing nature and guarding over you. Kavaniki Yishtana Sidra Teva Akali. The Hashgacha of practice alav the cheto. Now, why is it the cheto? The chema taught you to say for magin avos for aldera chayyoser now lehu made this adim arachmim oitri la adam imit. Why is it saying in his sin? That's. I think it's actually in his lack. Let me see what that means. Hold on a second. Kavana ki yistana sintre hateva haklali the Hashgacha of practice alav. The cheto. It's weird. He, remember, Justin B., you saw the class of the Kotel, so you know that the word sin isn't such an easy term, right? So they're saying that he is he's guarded, but something about as he's sinning. 
Let me see who that is. Very interesting. Shnei malachim alavim oso v'hakavana ki yishtana sidrei ateva haklali. Nature changes to protect him. That's what God does. That's called angels. The hashgacha hapratis alav the cheto. He has divine providence in his sin. I don't know why he has to be called a sinner. That's what I don't know. But the word sin can also mean lack. It would be very interesting if that's how they use the word chet. And it makes sense, but that's not usually how it's used. Let's let's stand on that shot and see if it works. I mean, it definitely works. I just I wouldn't have thought to use that word. The hashkacha practice alav becheto. The Rashba explains ki edis has ki ha edis hazo perusha. And so the Kavana ki yishta. One second here. One second. I don't know. Tell me, Shem Malachim Lav Moso. The Kavana ki the ha Kavana ki yishta na sud get heva ha kali na hashgach of practice. Well, this is very deep stuff. Hold on a second. Is that who hashgach of practice? Very, 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 very good. So the angels are what it's called when God changes nature. You got that? This is very tight here. You got this? Give me a one. And the and also your your divine providence can change if you sin. The Hakavaniki Yishtana Sudra Teva Haklali, the Hashkacha Pratis Allah Bacheto. See that? When you behave, God changes the world to you. When you find your eats are hard, Justin, right? You didn't go right home afterwards, you went to Taco Bell three in the morning, then the Hashkacha Pratis changes. In sin. See how that worked out? That was really beautiful. Exactly, we were miscavin to what's going on here. You went to learn, you went to pray, and you had the world changed upside down for you. You didn't go home. You went to a place of Tuma. You lost your divine protection. And, and it's very interesting, Justin, because we talked about sin at the wall, right? Here's another example of the word sin. Chet. Chet. Wow, man, this is really good. I'm happy I struggled over this. I am really, really happy. Chet is when you go to learn and you go to pray and you have angelic assistance and then you don't go home. Because the formula only works if you're escorted home. Can you see how that's the word chet? It's a beautiful thing. You you chet because you went against God. Look what you I mean, again, it's not the Lafib Shuto sense. And by the way, the, the synagogue in the house of study is Lafib Shuto, anything holy that you do, therefore man or woman, anything holy 
that ends in a in an escort to your home by the angels, then that is considered being under the Hashkaka practice of God. Rosa Hall. Now, if you go against God in that process, that is called a chet. Man, does that, does that not fit in perfect with our Kotel class? Does that not fit in perfect? What is a chet? And that's exactly how we explain it in the Kotel is the Vilna Gon, right? Character, traits, and ethics. Only you know when you are going against God. So basically, when you exchange God's providence, man, that is a really great definition. When you exchange God's providence for the Yitzhar Hara, that is a sin. Chet. How do you like that, Justin B.? And so when, when, you, when you separate from this, and you turn away from it with your body, but by your soul, your soul dictated your body, that is suffering in it, in there, it's got to suffer and be punished on the deed that you did in private. And the angels that guarded him are taken away. And that is to say the hashkacha, the providence is removed, and you will not be guarded from dangers. 